Good morning and welcome to a magical Monday. We are here for our weekly read aloud. And as you can see, I am in costume today. Not gonna tell you why, gonna see if you can figure it out as we prepare for our story. Um, we're gonna jump right into it. Today's story is called The Great K-Pop Tree, A Tale of the Amazon Rainforest by Lynn Cherry as we prepare to celebrate Earth Day, which will take place this Thursday, April 22nd. We wanted to read a book that was appropriate for the occasion. So here we go. The Great Kapok Tree. Two men walked into the rainforest. Moments before, the forest had been alive with the sounds of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men and wondered why they had come. The larger man stopped and pointed to a great kapok tree. Then he left. The smaller man took the ax he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack, whack, whack. The sounds of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop, chop, chop. The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and neck. Whack, chop, whack, chop. Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree. Before he knew it, the heat and hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A boa constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slithered down its trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash the ax had made in the tree. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It is my home where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. So the boa constrictor is not happy about this man trying to chop down the great K-pop tree. A bee buzzed in the sleepy man's ear. Senor, my hive is in this K-pop tree and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower collecting pollen. In this way, I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see all living things depend on one another. Now remember, he's still asleep, but all of the animals are now visiting him. A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy of the kapok tree. They chattered to the sleepy man, Senor, we have seen the ways of man. You chop down one tree, then you come back for another and another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die, and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rains come, the soil will be washed away and the forest will become a desert. So, so now the monkeys are telling him why it is important not to chop down the great K-pop tree. A toucan and a cockatoo rock a, a cock of the rock flew down from the canopy. Senor, squawked the toucan, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and seen what happens once you begin to chop down the trees. Many people settle on the land. They set fires to clear the underbrush and soon the forest disappears. Where once there was life and beauty, only black and smoldering ruins remain. So now the birds are telling him, as he sleeps, remember, why he should not cut down the great K-pop tree. A bright and small tree frog crawled along the edge of a leaf. 
In a squeaky voice, he piped in the man's ear, Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives, many ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down this great K-pop tree. So now e even the teeniest of animals are whispering in his ear, telling him why he should not cut down the great K-pop tree. A jaguar had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of the tree. Because his spotted coat blended into the dabbled light and shadows of the understory, no one had noticed him. Now he leaped down and padded slightly over to the sleeping man. He growled in his ear, Senor, the K-pop tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? So now even that beautiful leopard is telling him as he sleeps why it's important not to cut down the great K-pop tree. Four tree porcupines swung down from branch to branch and whispered to the man, Senor, do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you would destroy that which gives us all life. So now even the porcupines are telling him how important it is not to cut down that K-pop tree because it helps to produce ox oxygen, which gives us life. Several anteaters climbed down the K-pop tree with their young clinging to their backs. The unstripped anteater said to the sleeping man, Senor, you are chopping down this tree with no thought for the future. And surely you know that what happens tomorrow depends on what you do today. The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his own children who tomorrow must live in a world without trees. A tree, a three-toothed sloth had begun climbing down from the canopy when the men first appeared. Only now did she reach the ground because we know sloths move very slow. Plodding ever so slowly over to the sleepy man, she spoke in her deep and lazy voice. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, on what would you feast your eyes? Very wise, Mr. Sloth, very wise. A child from a tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over the sleeping man. He murmured in his ear, Senor, when you awake, Please look upon us all with new eyes. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child and all around him staring were the creatures who depended upon the great K-pop tree what wondrous and rare animals they were. Look at all of the beautiful animals that are now surrounding him as he awakes from his slumber. The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of bright light glowed like jewels amidst the dark green forest. Strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air, suspended from the great K-pop tree. The man smelt the fragrance of the perfume of the flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor. 
but he heard no sound, for the creatures were strangely silent. The man stood and picked up his ax. He swung back his arms as though to strike the tree. Suddenly, he stopped. He turned and looked at the animals and the child. He hesitated. Then he dropped the ax and walked out of the rainforest. And there he goes. The end. The great K-pop tree. So all those animals and that young man got through to him and he saw how important the great K-pop tree was and he decided, you know what? This is not a good idea. I am not gonna cut down the great K-pop tree. All right. So, as again, we prepare for Earth Day, your assignment is to create a little writing. Please don't cut down our K-pop tree. What are some reasons maybe that you heard from the story or maybe that you can think of yourself. Why is it important not to just cut down trees, especially in the rainforest? What are some things that you learned from the story and why it is important not to cut down that great K-pop tree? There's a little spot here for an illustration. If you wanna draw one of those beautiful animals or some of those beautiful flowers and trees that you saw. And as we again think about Earth Day, which will be taking place on Thursday, Think about ways that you or your family recycles. How do you conserve water? How do you conserve energy and electricity inside your homes? Talk about that as a family. Talk about that as a class. Think about it. Super proud. MPS proud. <laughs>